In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to get up and running with a small MATSIM model. MATSIM stands for Multi-Agent Transport Simulation and it is an open source framework for implementing large-scale agent-based transport simulations. Specifically, we use this in the postgraduate honors course Simulation Modeling BUY780. So if you are a registered student, you can navigate to your ClickUp content management system on the left hand side to software and you will get a number of links to different bits and pieces that we will use during this course. A couple of things specifically related to Matsum is the first link will take you to the website, the homepage of Matsum while the second one will take you to Bintray, where we actually keep and release the different versions of Matsum into the public domain. So I've provided a link here to the pre-release at the time of recording. The last stable release was 0.9.0 that you'll also find on the Matsum website. But 0.10 has since been made available as a pre-release and it will likely be public within the next few weeks. So Bintray keeps all the releases of Matsum in the public domain and the file that you will be interested in is the release.zip file. You can simply click on the zip file and it should download it for you. It's about 35 megabytes in size so it might take a couple of minutes depending on your connection speed. While it's downloading a few other points, you will have to have a Java development kit, or that's what I recommend, um, a version of Java installed on your computer. I do provide a link to the standard enterprise version made available by Oracle. So if you navigate to that page, um, here you can download the development kit. We specifically use Java version eight. At the time of this recording, you can accept the license agreement and download the specific version for your operating system. We will also make use of VIA, which is the visualization tool for Matsum models specifically that is currently developed and maintained by Sumunto, Dr. Marcel Rieser. If you're not that familiar with Java, I do provide other links that I find useful to get Kind of out of the blocks in terms of basic competency in Java as a programming language. Once your Matsum file is downloaded, you can extract it and you will see that inside that folder Matsum 0.10.0, um, the most important file for you to get up and running is simply the jar file, which is a packaged container of the entire Matsum project. And to run Matsum, one simple way is literally to just double click on the jar file. If, like me, you're on a Mac, chances are that your system will complain and tell you that it is from an unidentified developer, which means you will just have to navigate into your system preferences, in your security and privacy settings, allow it to open the file. Once you open the jar file, it will open a small graphical user interface, which will tell you exactly what version of Matsum, uh, what build you're actually running. It will tell you what version of Java you're using, where this Java um, installation is located, and it will ask you for a configuration file and an output directory. All the file paths must be absolute, meaning point to a specific location on your computer, or it must be specified relative to the location of this config file. Now, when you download it, Matsum, you will see that there's also a folder called examples. And Matsum is shipped with a variety of benchmark problems, some scenarios like a simplified Berlin scenario, 
there's an equilibrium one that we will start off with. Um, some simple public transport models, a Sioux Falls, and you can at least play around with a number of different um, example files to start off with. So what we're going to do is run this equilibrium model just to see that everything is running. So if you click the button to choose, you navigate to the examples folder. We're going to use the equilibrium model and we're going to use the first config file. So you can open the config file and you will see that it actually creates an output directory relative to this equilibrium folder. So inside that equilibrium folder, it will create an output folder, which will be the directory where all the output is, is written to. You can specify the amount of memory to use and simply click Start Matsim. In this console window at the bottom, there will be a huge amount of log messages being written. Um, at some point we might look into it in a bit more detail, but for now you can just let the model run. Towards the end, you should actually see a message that says shutdown completed without any error messages in its immediate vicinity. That will tell you that the model is complete. And if you now navigate back to that equilibrium folder, you will actually see that there's an output folder created with a bunch of folders and files. And we will look into those in a separate video.